morning. Continuing down their quarterback rankings, number 12 coming in from the New Jersey Generals, Kyle Lawletta. Now, if you know Kyle Lawletta, he uh, originally was drafted by the Giants in the 2018 NFL draft in the fourth round. Bounced around a couple teams. He's got stints with the Eagles, the Browns, the Jaguars, the Falcons, uh, even had a trial with the Jets. But spent 2018 and 2019 with the Giants. Uh, that was his only NFL experience. He came in for two games, one of which he actually threw passes in, five attempts, uh, no yards, an interception. They actually had him line up at receiver at one point, which is kind of gnarly since his 40 times, like only 4'8", coming out of college. But a lot of bounce around, was released by the Browns in uh, 2022, Got drafted by the Maulers in that debacle of Kirby Wilson's team. Uh, he was a fifth round pick, or excuse me, seventh overall pick by the Maulers. Lost the job to Josh Love, who's now on the Michigan Panthers, and then was brought in, claimed off waivers by the Generals in late May, right before their playoff push. Uh, the Generals ended up releasing one of their quarterbacks, Guy Myers, for Laletta. Laletta overall in the USFL, he played in four games. 31 to 63, just so that's just under 49 percent, or just above 49 percent. Uh, 270 yards, no touchdowns, no picks, three rushing attempts, 18 rushing yards in the USFL going into 2023. Now, a lot of people are a little bit higher on Maletta than than most. Personal opinion, I think everyone's kind of chalking the Kirby Wilson debacle up even though they did have some decent receivers like McCleskey and Bailey Gaither, that running back room was not as dynamic as you would think it'd be with a running backs coach. Uh, they had Garrett Groshek there and Madre London. Originally it was supposed to be, you know, kind of taken along by a guy like Davion Smith. Obviously Pizzagate is what kind of put him, put him to the side. Now I'm kind of putting Lawletta a little bit higher on this list uh, because I'm giving him the benefit of the, of the doubt. Uh, he kind of coming in out of school, he was pretty effective when he was with, when he was with Richmond, that's kind of what put him on the map to be, despite being at an FCS school, I believe he won the senior bowl honors, uh, like the MVP of the senior bowl when he was in school. Uh, he Overall, he was, three-year starter at Richmond, threw for over 10,000 yards, 73 passing touchdowns, and then added 12 on the ground. Now, coming out, a lot of the scouts liked his projection as far as the steps he took while he was at Richmond. He was uh, lauded by scouts because he was a two-time captain at the FCF schools. Doesn't, you know, he's not afraid to push the ball downfield. He seems like he could read the defense and whatnot as well. So he wasn't always just checking it down off that first read. And a lot of people liked how accurately he was able to throw. However, his arm strength isn't as strong as the other coach, as people would like. Sometimes when he is pushing the ball downfield, it seems like he's putting a little bit too much air on it rather than actually just getting it to the target. A lot of scouts would always, would always kind of criticize his ability to like make NFL throws and whatnot. And sometimes he would think he had a little bit more arm strength in college, and he really did. In the USFL, it didn't really seem like he was able to utilize his skill set as much. Uh, not the most mobile guy. So that's kind of where I'm looking at this between this quarterback battle, of which I do think he's got more arm strength than DeAndre Johnson, but are the, is, are the generals trying to go that way? So even if he's a better thrower of the football than Prukup, do they want to use Prukup? who's our number 14 guy, obviously, as the number two because of the skill set that's similar, similar to Lawletta. Now, I don't think Kyle Lawletta is a dominant NFL quarterback. I don't know if he'll be a dominant USFL quarterback, but what I do think I want to see is an opportunity, you know, give him a game or two to see if he can actually, you know, pad his resume a little bit. Uh, I don't foresee him ever playing in an NFL game again. What I would like to see is just a fair shot. I don't think him or Josh Love got one of those fair shots last year. 
I think it's going to be really great to see Lalletta in 2023 if given an opportunity to either make or break it. He does have a similar skill set to Luis Perez as far as with the arm strength and everything coming. Technically a smaller school guy out of Richmond, but regardless, it does appear that Lalletta will play in 2023, especially if DeAndre Johnson's having those difficulties with the throw, with his arm strength and accuracy. Lalletta is more accurate than Johnson, but – the team went 9-1 and one through that combination of Johnson and Perez. Maybe we see that again as the skill sets kind of do line up. But moving forward, twenty uh, excuse me, number 12 on this list, Kyle Lawletta. Thank you, guys. Have a great one.